the West has been lecturing Thailand for years over its criminal defamation laws, and specifically about criminal defamation laws protecting the King of Thailand, who is also the head of state. And this refers to Article 112. If you threaten, insult, or defame the King of Thailand or any member of his family, you face criminal defamation charges. You can get fined or go to jail. But Thailand's criminal defamation laws also protect all Thai people from being defamed. That means whether you're defaming the King of Thailand or just another person in Thailand, you will face criminal defamation charges. You can be fined or put in jail for defaming anyone in Thailand. Now, the West tries to make this out as some sort of free speech issue, but if you examine Western society, you will find that they have the exact same laws on their books and that they regularly send people to jail for doing exactly that in their own society. So what this is, is hypocrisy, double standards, and it's all driven by a political agenda because of course we know that the opposition here who are violating these laws on a daily basis, they are being supported by the West. And this is part of their regime change strategy that they pursue all around the globe in many countries, most recently in Hong Kong, but also all across North Africa and the Middle East. And you can just look at the trail of destruction the US and its Western European allies have left, the, the broken lives, the millions of lives ruined by that. Now, what I want to show you is actual examples of this hypocrisy where in the West, people violating these laws that protect members of their society, leaders of their society, Western monarchs, and even culturally sensitive topics that are off limits to certain kinds of speech, all of which can get you in jail. Some people have been in jail for up to 10 years for this. Some people face even more than 10 years for this. So let's look at some of these examples. They range from as far back as 2006 to as recently as this year. And what I want to show you is that they have been doing this over the entire period. They have been needling Thailand over this issue. Let's look at the first example. This comes from the BBC, 2016. Dutch man jailed for 30 days for insulting the king. It was a Facebook post. And what was in that post? They were accusations made against the king, things that were obviously not true, things that were said to damage the image of the king and, and to do that alone. And there were also some elements of, of violence and threats being made or alluded to. So this person went to jail. 2018, Spanish rapper. Thailand knows some certain rappers who have zero talent and they try to make up for it by being as offensive as possible and as defamatory as possible. And it, it still really doesn't help. But Spain has a rapper like this too. And he faced three years in prison for insulting the king of Spain and for glorifying and threatening violence. Again, there are laws on the books in all of these countries in the West to protect their societies from criminals like this. This is an article from the Irish Times. It's from 2006. Irving jailed for Holocaust denial in Austria. And this man, David Irving, was sentenced to three years in prison for Holocaust denial in Austria, in Western Europe. This article from 2017, the BBC. Germany's Nazi grandma given jail term for Holocaust denial. In 2017, she's 89 years old. She was sentenced to 14 months in prison for Holocaust denial. It says it right here. And if you read this article, she wasn't actually put in prison yet. But if you read a more recent one, this is from 2018, and it comes to us from The Independent. Now she's 89. Now she's actually in jail. And to my knowledge, she is still in jail for Holocaust denial in Germany. And Germany and Austria aren't the only countries who do this. This is about France. One of France's most prominent far-right provocateurs is going to jail for denying the Holocaust. And he's going to jail for one year. He also has to pay back legal expenses. 
Here is a story from DW, Germany, and this is dated 2020. German neo-Nazi Horst Mahler released from prison. How long was he in prison for? He was in prison for 10 years. And no sooner did he get out of prison, and then he was hit with new charges. So he faces even more prison, 10 years, and even more prison after that for denying the Holocaust. And in the United States, while you might not go to jail for denying the Holocaust or for defaming someone, uh, you could go, you could have a civil case and end up having to pay money. Uh, but you do definitely go to jail if you threaten somebody. And just one example of many, this is a uh, US code here, and this is about threatening federal officials and sentences uh, just for threatening, just for threatening, are up to 10 years in prison. A threat made, 10 years, up to 10 years in prison for that. So the West has laws protecting their societies from criminals who do these sort of things. And they turn around and they hide behind fake human rights groups to tell Thailand they can't have laws like that to protect their society. And of course, we know that Thailand has been under attack by the West for a long time, they were a target for colonization the last two centuries. They still are under attack by the West who would, would have them uh, in their sphere of influence. And so denying protection of your society by stripping away laws and encouraging uh, unrest in the streets, chipping away at the economy, all sorts of things are being done to Thailand to weaken it, to undermine it and to draw it into Western domination. And you can see that this really isn't a free speech issue because if it was, the West would not have these exact same laws protecting their own society. And, you know, people can sit there and argue in Germany, is it right to put a man in jail for 10 years for questioning a, a historical event from decades and decades ago where, where almost everyone involved is already dead of old age? Is that right or wrong? And my answer to that is it's Germany's business. It's German society's business to determine that. No other country should have a say in that. No fake human rights group funded from outside the country should have a say in that. But at the same time, how dare Germany and the German government through organizations like the Henrik Bowles Foundation fund agitators here in Thailand and try to deny Thai people the same protections that German society enjoys under German law? How dare they? And the same goes for France and the UK and the Netherlands and the United States. How dare they have these laws on their books to protect their society from these sort of crimes or perceived crimes, whatever their society decides is a crime, and yet tell Thailand that they can and cannot have this or that. The next time the West tries to lecture Thailand on this issue, look at these examples and take these examples and throw them back into their face and ask them why they're allowed to have these sort of protections in their own society, but Thailand is not allowed to have them in Thai society. And why is it that the issue of Holocaust denial is an issue for Germans to decide on their own, and yet the issue of defending the Thai monarchy here in Thailand, in Thai society, with Thai laws, is somehow not Thailand's business to decide on their own. I hope this video helps begin to explain the hypocrisy of the West regarding this so-called free speech issue here in Thailand. To my Patreon patrons who make these videos possible, thank you very much. If you're watching this when it's posted publicly, please like and share the video if you thought it was useful. Think about subscribing to my channel. It's totally free to do and it helps the channel grow. To everybody out there who is helping in absolutely every way, even if it's just liking and sharing my videos or if you're helping with translations and subtitles or even if you're just passing along some kind words in the comment section or by email, thank you very much. I honestly couldn't do it without you. And as always, thank you for watching.